Off by Chuchich. Chuchich has a 2 on 0 of yards. He scores! Rico passes it. Bunnington, what a save! Right, right. He'll make a nice move. He's all alone. He's got time. Backhand and what a goal by Justin Gray! Hello everyone and welcome to Black Dog Hockey's presentation of the 2022 CHF Federation Cup streaming live from the Ice Line Quad Wings rinks in Westchester, Pennsylvania alongside Ryan Carlson. My name is Jordan DeLuciano and we have do or die right now in Pool B. The St. Bonaventure Bonnies in their solid browns taking on the Farmingdale State Rams in their solid whites. And Ryan, winner goes on tomorrow to the quarterfinals and the loser, you're heading home. This is what you look forward to when in pool play. And uh, on the last day of pool play, uh, the biggest game of the weekend so far, and it's just got that, that so much weight to it. It's uh, you win, you move on, you lose, you go home. St. Bonaventure winners of the Upstate New York Conference Championship. And they're taking on the winners of the Empire Conference Championship. And Farmingdale came into this tournament the number two seed. And because of Ryan, that we just had the biggest upset of the tournament. Number one Tampa goes down to CNU in overtime. So a win by the Rams means they're the one seed going in tomorrow. I believe we're gonna get to the national anthem, but you're right, that was a huge upset. We'll talk about that uh, after the anthem. The stakes, the only way the stakes get bigger than this is when you make it to Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, the championship game. So this is the biggest it's gonna get this weekend. Again, win or go home, who's moving on? Is it the Farmingdale State Rams or the St. Bonaventure Bonnies? Both teams have cruised through the first two games to get to this moment. Yeah, you're exactly right, and uh, you know what? It, it's gonna be a tremendous game. I've seen the St. Bonaventure Bonnies twice, haven't seen Farmingdale quite yet, so I'm excited to see what uh, Farmingdale brings to the table. But uh, I mean, this has been the marquee game of the day, uh, the talk of the day. And Although you, you mentioned though, talk about the upset that just happened back on rank one. Anything can happen. And you see CNU three to one lead with five minutes left. Well, it was a one nothing game for Tampa going to the third. And then three to one CNU in the third out of nowhere. Five minutes left, Tampa puts in two and then they get to overtime and S Christopher Newport gets the win and they'll be, they're the winners of Pool A, absolutely shocking. But here we go. Bonaventure, Farmingdale for the ch winner of Pool B to move on tomorrow and we're underway. They battle at the dot. I mean, Chikowski, not able to get that one cleanly and picked up by O'Brien on the far side means hit by Kirschbaum. Hendrickson with Chikowski on him and O'Brien will pick it up on the far side wall and out come the Bonnies. But an errant pass now, not for the Rams, will try to get it out of his own zone. 
It'll be the battle of the fives down low as Brisgornia whips it around the wall. Kirschbaum waves to Bonnie. Schakowsky will get it back in deep with O'Brien taking a spill. Kirschbaum finds Sanamo, and he's got Hendrickson with him. He'll dump it in deep. Sanamo and everyone else except for Hendrickson will go for a change. It'll be Aiden Jones for Bonaventure sending it the length of the ice. If that has life, and it does, it will be an icing. All right, the first shift's out of the way. The locker room jitters, the pregame jitters are probably still there, just fading away a little bit. Uh, so let's get to the, uh, what's the what to watch segment there. What to watch, presented by Envious Gameware. Interested in custom jerseys and apparel? How about personalized printing services? Envious Gameware can do it all. Head to enviousgameware.com for more information and something to keep an eye out here. Important, crucial, heavy stakes games like this. Who's getting that first goal? Who's getting their foot out front first? Right. Barely a minute in here, not even a minute in. And we haven't found that answer yet as Bone throws one around the wall. It'll be picked up by O'Brien. O'Brien will flip it in. If that's not on goal, it'll be another icing. But icing is waved off because DeCanio had to play it. Bunnington has Juhas on him. Juhas causing some problems in the Farmingdale end. Picked up by Kurnitz on goal, hit the side of the net on the stick of Mego. And they'll get a whistle because the puck got stuck on the back of the neck. Net, not neck. All of the rinks are also hosting games at the yeah. time. All, uh, all big deciding games. Oh, yeah. It's a crazy night here on the final night of pool play in the CHF Fed Cup, and we're going to have a great one here. You see the crowd, how it is now. It'll be fun to watch it evolve and grow as people yep. start to understand the stakes. You're going to see fans three. bouncing back from rink to rink, intermission by intermission as Kernitz lays a body behind the wall. Bounce out in front for Kernitz, he's gonna turn and fire, and it is swallowed by DeCanio. DeCanio sat back, he didn't really feel it, didn't really know where it was, and he was just hoping that he landed on top of it, and uh, he sure did, kept it out. Looks like that puck hit a skate on the way in. That's why he caught DeCanio going in a different direction. As that one's on DeCanio again, he'll get another whistle. Bonnie's throwing everything they can at DeCanio right now, just getting shots on net, and uh, it's been working for him. Filipowicz down there, no shots on the Bonnie's netminder. It'll be Hughes on the draw for Bonaventure off the draw, and that one shot wide as Jackson for Bonaventure will try to eat it up on the far side wall, keep it in for the team in Brown. As Guido goes down, we play on Hughes, not able to find a man in the high slot, and out come the Rams, cross ice Ryan Murray, trying to hook up with Hawkins, Ref gets in the way as Hawkins takes a, uh, goes down head first, but helped out by McCann. Whipped around the wall into the feet as McCann throws a body, and now waiting there is Hawkins on the turnover. He'll send it right back where it came from to Kernitz. McCann is causing a lot of problems behind that Bonaventure bench. Bohm trying to come out with it. Intercepted on the wall, and that puck's just not moving. And finally squirts out free, it's James Johnson. Johnson fans on the clearing attempt as both, both Ram players getting involved there as Cole Kathis and Hawkins. Now everyone will go for a change as Shane Smith's gonna play it in his own end. And Shane Smith turns it over at the blue line, but coming in to help out is Chavez with a big body as James McGarry will go after it, but it gets to the Bonaventure point. And knocked wide, trying to go back out in front off a stick, rebound bouncing low and shoveled it in the near side corner. The captain, Connor O'Brien, takes a hit from behind, but we play on regardless. Magari battling down low with Tchaikovsky. And now it's James Brennan for Farmingdale. He took a shot off the wrist yesterday, left the game, but now obviously he's back in action as the canyon will slow down for Shane Smith behind the net. He'll bank it off the wall, white to a rating defender in Mitchell Marsh. Brennan again with the bank pass, trying to find Kirschbaum, and he gets him, drops it off for Hendrickson. Good stick there by Brady Fitzpatrick, and out come the Bonnies. It's Marsh again, he'll leave it off for a man in Kernitz. As it whips around the wall now, Hendrickson for the Rams, and out they come. Bonnies really making life difficult for the Rams, coming out of their own zone. 
Another failed clearing attempt as that one's pushed off the side of the net to Canyon. Trying to get a cover there as Curse Bomb down low to help. Bonnie's doing a great job on the four check and Farmingdale doing a great job on the physical side. There's a big uh, response uh, check there by St. Bonaventure. Sanamo trying to get that one cleanly as this forward group throws for a change. Hendrickson once again the lone forward out there for this first line group. Around the wall cut off by Brisgornia towards the net and steered out of harm's way. As the bodies try to swat it down at center, Brisgornia trying to intercept. And no one really able to maintain possession as it kicks towards Ram Rice, it's Bunnington. DeCano trying to race out for that one, cannot keep up with it. Werner for Bonnie will throw it around the wall. And now Bohm for the Rams, as a little bit going on behind the play, as now Lenat stepping on the play, up on the play, trying to get Bunnington. Bunnington, good stick there by David Stutes. And that ends that exchange as Buddington and company will go for a change. Bonnie's a little sloppy in their own end, trying to go back in front to Cole Kathis in the feet of a defender, thrown out, gloved down by McCann. McCann trying to spin off two brown jerseys right now. He'll get it in low to Cole Kathis. McCann looks to the point, finds a man in Ryan Murray. Murray on goal, off a shin pad, staying low in the slot. And Bonnie's still not being able to clear, but as I speak of it, they come out. It's James Johnson. Nice clean hit there upon entry uh, on the Bonnies. Bonnies with numbers, but they got McCann behind him as that skips into the glove of the goaltender. Joseph DeCanio. First whistle in a while. Take a look at this. This has been frustrating the Farmingdale Rams uh, all night long. Oops, sorry, there was an issue with our replay system. But St. Bonaventure doing a great job of standing up at their own blue line, not preventing or not allowing Farmingdale to get into the zone and set up shop, although that last sequence they were able to and, and get a good chance in front of Filipowicz. Chavez on the draw for the Rams will go up against Owen Hughes. It sits right out in front of the dot as Brady Fitzpatrick is not able to keep that in as the body's got to regroup. It's Gorlowski trying to fend off Fitzpatrick but turns it over to the waiting stick of Marsh. And out of the zone it comes Gorlowski spinning off right below us and trying to power his way into the zone and the Rams. Go off sides. If you're enjoying our coverage of the Fed Cup, you can watch fantastic collegiate hockey all year long with the subscription to Black Dog Hockey. Hundreds of games stream live every month. Over 3,000 games are available on demand. Head to bdehockey.com to sign up today. Henderson for the Rams coming out with that scrum with the puck right beneath us. As he throws one towards the net, only waiting there is Aiden Jones. And out come Bonaventure as he shields off a hit from Brennan. Blocked by Sinamo. He doesn't have any numbers with him, so he's all alone, one on two, waiting for some white jerseys as he fires one off the leg of O'Donoghue. Sinamo not able to control his own rebound, takes a spill. And the Rams got to regroup in their own zone. Icing waved off, claiming the goalie Filipowicz came out of his crease. And that's the first time I've said his name because, Ryan, they have not been testing him. Early, should I say. Just haven't been tested early. Yeah, no shots on Filipowicz quite yet. He's been, been quiet down there, just watching from his own end, watch his team on the offensive four check and pressure. Looking for that stretch pass, intercepted at the line by Jackson. Jackson gonna throw it on net, sliding block by Buddington, keeps it out of harm's way. And they throw it on goal, and DeCanio gets over. DeCanio threw two bodies, got over with the blocker, and the ref's foot breaks up that pass to Bunnington. As the bodies will go for a change, 
and Lenat will pick up on the near side wall, but he's got to try to fend off a man and Kernitz. Letting them play here, Jordan. It's been a physical start to this game, and, and obviously no penalties quite yet, but both sides with some physical stuff. There's more there. Looking for that stretch pass to Ferrari, broken up by Brady Fitzpatrick on defense. And now Guido for the Rams. Off the glass, that might, that should not be an icing because he went after it, yep. So Mitchell Marshall played behind his own net. And now to Brady Fitzpatrick. Clean exit for the Bonnies, but then Met stood up at the opposing blue line. And now multiple white jerseys are getting involved with Thomas Wall. McCann's got to help out his defenseman Guido down low as Murray finds Colacathis. Going cross ice to Hawkins. Hawkins with McCann going to the net, trying to find him, not able to link up. Colacathis sort of goal. He'll throw it behind for McCann. And McCann's got to worry about Marsh. Three man scrum. McCann trying to take on two brown, brown jerseys as Hawkins will throw it right back to where we started. It's Marsh in his own zone. Both teams go for a change. Is Marsh and Fitzpatrick still out there? Goes for that cross ice pass too hard. And intercepted by Murray. As Chavez tries to go back to his defenseman, but turns it over, skips on towards the Canyo, and he shovels that away with the paddle. Throwing on goal, stick down. Breaks up that shot by Brandon Dixon. As Bonnie's back in on front, gonna turn and fire one. Murray gets a leg in there, and Bonnie's all over the Rams in their own zone, and that's swallowed by DeCanio. Uh, here we go, some rough stuff after the fact, and uh, there's been some long periods of play without any whistles, and we were uh, just in one uh, during that sequence, and the Bonnie's not letting Farmingdale exit its own zone. They're keeping it in, keeping those shots on net, and they get one there and crash the net, obviously. Uh, Farmingdale's not going to like that. It's 9.55 left in the first. 0-0 score, but the Bonnies are out shooting the Rams 7 to nothing. And that one skips wide. A couple weird bounces from DeCanio as Brennan stands a man up behind the net. Kept in again as DeCanio will kick it away. And that's going right back to where it was on the near half wall. And then it gets weighted off for offsides. O'Donohue trying to keep it in for the second time in a row. Uh, interference oh, no, coming up. Yeah, we got an interference call. I'm hearing Connor O'Brien for interference. 61. So number 61, Connor O'Brien will go for interference. And Farmingdale has been... Uh, the lesser team so far, just over halfway into the first, with no shots on goal. Here's an opening for them with the man advantage for two minutes. One cleanly from Tchaikovsky by Sinamo. Hendrickson down low, trying to work his way to the middle. Nobody there but brown jerseys. As he's looking around to his forward group, no one was there. Buddington looked to take it himself. He'll just steer it around the wall with Hendrickson going to get it with Jacob Jackson. Minute and a half on the man advantage for the, for the Rams. Jackson trying to fend off Buddington. Buddington will steer it back to where it came from. Bynes looking to whip it around. Kirschbaum tries to cut it off. Tough bounce off the skate, and out it goes as the Bonnies will go for a full sail change. It'll be Murray for the Rams. They'll drop it in for Kirschbaum. Brennan joining the zone. He's going to go plop his rear end in front of the goaltender. Filippowicz. Hendrickson. Far corner. He'll switch off at Sinamo. And they're very methodical here. As looking for Sinamo, he finds Kirschbaum instead. He'll go to the point, find Murray on goal. Shot wide. As Fitzpatrick trying to eat it on the wall to kill off this penalty kill, as that puck will bounce all the way out with 35 seconds left on the man advantage. Yeah, nice clear. You don't want to try to eat it on the boards in your own zone. You're, you got to get it the length of the ice. 
and get a change for your penalty kill unit. Cole Cactus plays it off the leg, but gets the better of it as he picks it up on the power play. Went under 20 left, backhanding one around the wall and wide. McCann turns it over on the half wall, and the bodies on the rush is James Johnson, but he's one on two right now as Shane Smith and Brennan are back as well. But that's going to do it for the man advantage for the Rams. Five on five we play. McCann drops off for Cole Cathis. Bounces far wall for Hawkins. Whereas Gornia tries to keep it on the half wall, he will. As McCann's waiting there for it. Looking for that home run pass. Looks like the Bonnies are about to get a power play if Brisgornia beats him to this. And the Bonnies will be up a man. Cross-checking call coming up to Farmingdale. Yeah, it will be John McCann for cross-checking. So right as the Rams come off their power play, the Bonnies will have one of their own. And again, Farmingdale still without a shot, 7-14 left in the first. Ferrari wins it cleanly from Kernitz, and a quick clear. And Kirschbaum hard on the puck. That might, that's, da that's dangerously close to interference on Mason Mego. But out come the Bonnies in the offensive zone looking for a man in front, but DeCanio will scoop that one up and hold. Mego's been the star for St. Bonaventure so far in the first two games that I've been able to see the Bonnies play in and uh, he's just been obviously the faster skater and, and uh, with, with the quicker hands on the Bonnies although a very deep team they have speed and skill and patience and agility on, on all lines and uh, the coaching is able to mix and match them well together. Spina at the point he'll go across to Stutz he goes right back to the man who gave it to him in Spina. He'll throw one on goal and steer it away by DeCanio. It stuts. Back center point. Finding a man in Mego. Mego across off the skate and off the pad of DeCanio. How did that one stay out? Yeah, the original shot was going wide. It got a deflection on net. I was getting ready for a goal call there. <laughs> and off the goalie's pad, like you said? Yeah. Farmingdale being very aggressive, chasing pucks is a big hit, and that will be a penalty on Brisgornia. And a wide open opportunity for St. Bonaventure. They'll have a minute and four of five on three, not the start you're looking for if you're the number two seeded Farmingdale. Michael Rappa on the draw. Five on three for the Bonnies. Got Fitzpatrick at the point alongside Johnson. On the wing is Aiden Jones, and on the left wing is Owen Hughes, but Rappa will join it, uh, against Chavez, and now it's Fitzpatrick. Now a minute exactly of five on three. It's Fitzpatrick at the point, shooting one, blockered by DeCanio. Hughes trying to come out with it, a whip it around the wall to James Johnson. To Fitzpatrick, center point. They'll find Hughes. Back to Brady. Brady at the point, and they score! Brady Fitzpatrick, it's a power play goal and a one nothing lead for the Bonnies. Five on three, it's not gonna be easy for anybody. Defensively, and the Bonnies Able to tap one home and take the one nothing lead. You look at the scoreboard now, the Bonnies have more goals than Farmingdale does shots. 5.53 up in the period. And I'm not even saying Phil Lipowitz's name. Bonnie's right back in the zone, it's Jacob Jackson. Far side corner, he'll go to the point, find a man in Mego. Mego again still on the power play here for a minute and 22. And McCann with the block going back door, trying to link up with Kernitz. Kernitz backhander off the pan to Canyo as he lunges out and gets the whistle. Hey, 
St. Bonaventure coming out hot and heavy, really taking it to Farmingdale with 5.29 left in the period. It, it's been all Bonnie so far, and they're up one nothing because of it, thanks to Brady Fitzpatrick's five on three power play goal. Queen win again on the draw. Stutz will go to Mego, back to Stutz. Mego wants that one-timer. He'll get the puck, not able to tee it up though. Tough angled shot, rimmed around the wall, but kept in by Stutz. 55 left on the man advantage. It's Mego, Mego on goal, off the post, rebound kicks out and into the glass. Re a wraparound attempt, Decanio wasn't expecting it, but it stays live. Kernitz will pick up with 35 left on the man advantage. It's been all offensive zone time for the Bonnies. Thrown on goal, sliding block by Colacactus. Shipped out of the zone, and Colacactus trying to get a push here, and he might have a breakaway. Colacactus has been out there a while, but he's gonna rip one, and a glove save by Filippowicz. The first save of the game, and first shot for Farmingdale. Filippowicz was hoping for a shot on there, on net there, as he, has, he hadn't faced one yet in this game. And we're just over 15 minutes into the first period. So Filippowicz now faces a draw after his first shot against him. And that'll help him get settled in. Push back to Guido for Farmingdale. And Brady Fitzpatrick, the initial goal scorer, on the near side wall, hounded by Ferrari. Puck pounce, I mean Kirschbaum. As that puck stays on side, it, as the Bonnies now with three seconds left on the man advantage. Power play over, Kirschbaum trying to get away from two brown jerseys. As it's the Bonnies who come out with it and steer it away. Rapa battling down low with Guido. Bonnie's coming out with it, thrown wide, and then picked up on the near side wall by James Johnson, back in front, and they're getting a lot of shots towards the Canyo, and a lot of action in the crease. No icing there as Hawkins has gotta go chase down Aiden Jones. Jones is gonna eat this one. Kirschbaum trying to shovel it out of the wall, and he does, and he finally comes out cleanly. Back to Lenat at the point. Lenat looking towards the net, no one in front, so an easy save for Filippowicz. Obviously, if you're saying Bonaventure, you don't want a ton of shots on your netminder, but a couple here and there to just to keep him warm, keep him on his toes uh, is not a bad thing, but uh, especially shots like that from a distance, uh, keep your goaltender tuned in. Obviously, Filippowicz doing a great job so Bunch far. it off the draw, and Filippowicz has got to fight that one away. Buddington from Sanamo, and he shot it wide, and we're already seeing uh, head coach Joe Mazie switch up the lines here. It's Sanamo, Henriksen, and Buddington, but that might just be because Kirschbaum was coming off a penalty kill. Fan clear there as Buddington trying to hound a man, not able to get that puck free, as Jacob Jackson now for the Bonnies goes behind his own net with under a minute left, under three minutes left in the first period. Brisgornia finds Hendrickson. Trying to enter, zone, enter the offensive zone, and he does. And able to pick it up behind the net. Battling on the wall with Wall. As that puck will be rolled all the way down. If it has life, it'll be an icing. Doesn't look like it does. So Brisgornia will pick up. Henderson off the tip. That might be icing. And it will be. Farmdale protesting that icing, but not, not ha nothing happened on that one. They'll be dropped to the left of the goaltender, DeCanio. Thomas Wall in the draw for the Bonnies. He'll line up with Sinamo. Hendrickson coming out with it. He'll come down the far side wall, stripped from behind. Hendrickson's been out there for quite some time. Bonnie's again, 
Farmingdale is not coming out cleanly. Very rarely do they, but they have some tired legs out there right now, and the Bonnies are fresh. Kicks out in front to Kayo trying to get a cover in the crease. Back to Fitzpatrick at the point. They'll go D to D to Marsh. Marsh will throw towards the net and deflected wide. As Cole Cattis will pick up one of the more fresher Farmingdale Rams here. Brennan finds Smith. Smith looking for McCann, but meets Fitzpatrick instead for his troubles. And that, that might be an icing, and that's exactly what the call will get. 120 left in the first period. A 1-0 lead to the Bonnies, thanks to the Brady Fitzpatrick power play goal. Something I'm noticing, I'm right next to the Bonaventure bench, is they are vo vocal, they are loud. Ever since the puck drop, they, they've been a cohesive unit. And I'm not hearing much from the Farmingdale area, as Murray will throw it towards the net and go wide, and Kirschbaum will pick this one up. Marsh fans on an on attempt to go around the wall. To the point, Guido. Guido looking to the net, blocked down. And now it's a foot race as Werner's trying to beat out Guido. Bonnies will take this time to go for a change as we're under a minute left in the first. And he might have a man beat. It might be a quick two on one back door and fanning on the one timing pass. Back throw to the net and over the net and wide and into the glass and out the center. Murray patiently looking for a man in Ferrari. And now with 22 seconds of the period, Ferrari trying to get something going. The curse bomb deflected, bouncing wide. Kirschbaum looking for a man, finds Guido instead, blocked by Hawkins, his own man, thrown back towards that with 10 seconds left, and they might have a break late in the period. It's Mego to the net, looking for the one-timing feed, and they score! The Bonnie strike with 3.3 seconds left in the first, and it's 2-0. Holy smokes, how about that chip at their own blue line, up off the boards and ahead to spring the two-on-one? And the nice one-time feed across the top of the crease is tape to tape, back of the net. It's Mego to Spina, and a 2-0 lead in the dying seconds of the first frame. And that will do it for an absolute dominating period for the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. Farmingdale looks like they've seen a ghost. No idea what hit, hit them. And after 20 minutes, Bonnie's up 2 0. You nailed it. Look at the shots 13 to 4 in favor of St. Bonaventure. None of them left their feet on the bench the entire period, like you talked about. They were vocal, they were into it. And Farmingdale, they were all up, most of them on their feet on the bench, into it also. But Bonaventure, the ice was tilted into their offensive zone. That's where the puck was most of the period. So alongside Ryan Carlson, my name is Jordan DeLuciano. You're listening to Black Dog Hockey's presentation of the 2022 CHF Federation Cup. Hello everyone and welcome back to Black Dog Hockey's presentation of the 2022 CHF Federation Cup streaming live from the Ice Line Quad Rinks in Westchester, Pennsylvania alongside Ryan Carlson. My name is Jordan DeLuciano and we enter the second period of this do or die matchup for the winner of Pool B and it's been all Bonnies. Two nothing after a dominant first period. Yeah, dominant is the right word. It was tilted to our left, and the Bonnies were on the full attack the full time. I wish we had a hit counter up on the scoreboard. That might outweigh the shot total right now. Uh, it was a physical first period. Expect that to keep up. Good game so far. Tchaikovsky will draw with Sanamo as we're underway here in the second. 
Farmdale's got to do a lot here to try to, it's only a two goal deficit, but they got to change the tide as a nice bounce for Kirschbaum, and he couldn't get the shot off. Filippowicz was down, Sinamo trying to tuck it, and it's gloved off for the whistle. And what a start that would have been. What was that? Seven, eight seconds would have been a goal. Would have been right back into it. I mean, two goals down. You're in. It. You're still very much in the game with so much time left. But uh, that would have been the best way for Farmingdale to start the second. Unable to fly that winger as Hendrickson cuts it down. Meets a hit from Brady Fitzpatrick. Chikowski down low, battling with Sinamo. Hendrickson getting involved, and Lenat's going to step up, helped out by Sinamo. Sinamo on goal, bouncing there, kicked away, rebound, and Chikowski got over, and it's underneath them for the whistle. So Ryan, uh, I think this is the, the best possession has Farmingdale's had, and it came 30 seconds into the period. Most definitely, and the best chance they've had. I mean, uh, Filipowicz was twisting and turning in his own crease, and they didn't know where the puck was, and eventually found it, jumped on top, and uh, Farmingdale, obviously something was said uh, in the locker room to fire Farmingdale back up, and they've had all the momentum. Everybody on their feet in the Rams bench, the spirit. It gets away from Brisgornia. He got a man all over him, and now picking it up is Mego. As Kirschbaum's trying to come out with it, and he does. Farmingdale going for a change, and Bonnie's looking for that stretch pass again. Icing waved off on the touch, so Murray will play it behind DeCanio. He's got Spina all over him, and now Brisgornia helping out. Boom, touch pass to nobody home as Kernitz will intercept as it bounces right back in Bonnie Ice. As it looks like Bunnington did not know they weren't offsides. Puck gets away and Ferrari traps it at the wall right inside the blue line and Bunnington will pick up with space. Bunnington will walk in and fire one, knocked down by Filippowicz and he'll get the whistle. Filippowicz has just been solid all, all game long. I mean, he's on his angles. He's He's just positioning himself in the perfect spot, and he uh, didn't have to do much to make that save. Made it look easy. McCann will line up with Hughes to the left of Filippowicz. And already, uh, they have how many shots? Th four already in the first two minutes, not even. And it took them to the seven-minute mark, I believe, to get one last period. And icing will be the call. If you're enjoying our coverage of the Fed Cup, you can watch fantastic collegiate hockey all year long with a subscription to Black Dog Hockey. Hundreds of games stream live every month and over 3,000 games are available on demand. Head to bdhockey.com to sign up today. McCann again will duel with Hughes as Filippo gets set at the top of his crease. Back to Hawkins on goal, nobody home there, as Murray's gonna try to keep it on the wall. It's in his feet, and out it comes. But in come the Bonnies. It's huge, huge firing, sicked away by DeCanio. Rabba behind the net, it gets to the point, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick firing one, knocked down by DeCanio, loose in the crease, he got the rebound, and gets the whistle. On the draw, Tchaikovsky and McCann. It sits at the dot. Kicks far side, Cole Kath is trying to beat Brady Fitzpatrick there, and he does, and it just, just gets out of the zone. Smith able to get it off the wall, nobody home, but Hawkins hard on the puck right now. As Marsh is being hounded by Hawkins. McCann trying to get involved, and he does. He finds a man in the point, Brennan. Brennan firing one, rebound, and a fanned attempt by Hawkins. He had Filippowicz down. And Filippowicz will eat that one up, but, and then he gets the whistle. 
He wanted the play to Brady Fitzpatrick, but then couldn't with McCann on him. First period was St. Bonaventure's period. This period, it's Farmingdale's, and uh, they've been all over the Bonnies so far, getting the, the best opportunities and keeping holding that blue line like we saw the Bonnies do in the first. But the key thing is, you look at the scoreboard, 16.58 left in the second, still 2-0 for the Bonnies. Sonoma wins a clean curse bomb, throwing on goal. Waddle down, Hendrickson, and they score! There's life on the Farmingdale bench. First goal for them, it's a 2-1 game. This is what happened to Farmingdale in the first. And we go back to the replay. This was right off the draw. Face off drop, shot towards the net and that rebound sitting in front was dragged to the far side and poked in. Kernitz with Sonoma, he'll push it right in front of him. Bonnie's in the offensive zone territory and like you just said, Ryan, after where the tide was tilted towards Bonnie's in the first, but now they're looking to get that goal right back as it skips wide, stuck on the netting, might get a whistle and we do. But Ryan, you were saying before, the first period was tilted towards the Bonnie's, the second almost at the four minute mark in, Maybe leaning towards Farmingdale, but in a good response there right off the faceoff by Bonaventure. Yeah, the shot count was totally lopsided towards in favor of St. Bonaventure. Now it's getting tighter. Uh, 15 shots for the Bonnies and 10 for the Rams. And uh, we got a one goal game. Greg Hendrickson, 14 goals, 39 points in the regular season. Gets the Rams going here in the second to get them within one. Kirschbaum finds Sinamo. Sinamo trying to collect it not able to get it cleanly as it bounces right in front of the Bonaventure bench in a shoving match and we have a hand pin, oh nope, we're gonna get a call. I think we're gonna get uh, one aside here. I think Sinamo's gonna go. And then Hendrickson goes down behind the play, but I'm pretty sure we got Sinamo going to the box and I'm waiting on my right. Got the four on we got four. number 14, David Stutz going to the box for Bonnie's. I can't see you, it's, up, it's on you, Ryan. Who we got, five? Yeah, it's Sonamo. So Vin, Vinny Sonamo will sit for two. Alongside number 14, David Stutz. So four and four for two minutes. Ferrari will draw with Hughes. Hughes trying to go forward, just like uh, the sentiment did before after the goal, as Brady Fitzpatrick behind his own net got the game started on the five on three power play goal. Puck just hanging around in the neutral zone for the first 30 seconds of this four and four. Now cross ice it goes. It'll be Rappa. He walks right into Brisgornia, finds a man down low. Decano shoulders it away, and Ferrari's gonna start it up. We got a man right behind him, and intercepted by Hughes. Hughes trying to drop it to Fitzpatrick, able to keep it in, but Brisgornia steps up and intercepts, and again, Rappa turn causes a turnover. But Farmingdale gets back, and Farmingdale, this is like three times in a row, they're just fanning on these clears. But out they come with a minute and five on four and four. It's Ferrari. He's got Bunnington with him. He'll just throw it off the pad. And now the Bonnies might count here. You got tired forwards and a three on two potentially. Now two on two with Ferrari back. And DeCanio will scoop that one up and get the whistle. 51 seconds left to four and four. 15 31 left in the second. Two to one Bonaventure. Chikowski and McCann. Again, that's, a, that's like the third time in a row, I think, the Bonnies have been pushing it forward on the draw to the point they find a man in Jones, and they go cross ice to Jackson. Jackson throwing in a goal, skipped right in front of the crease dangerously, but out of harm's way for the Rams. Bonnie's controlling the, the play here on this four and four. As McCann will try to settle it down, but he can't get, get by Johnson. He'll have to be helped out by Shane Smith, and that might be a turnover at the blue line, and it is. Farmingdale getting very sloppy and dangerous on this four on four. Now Smith's gonna step up to the play and join it. He'll get it on the touch pass. 
Smith throw it on goal off the leg of Aiden Jones as the four and four ends were evened up. There's now one on one down low, now two on one for the bodies potentially, and it's off the post, and they score! Mason Mego rips one off the far post, they get the two goal lead back, it's 3-1 Bonaventure. And all this started after Farmingdale got its first goal of the game. It's, it's all about that important uh, shift after a goal scored. So right after that, St. Bonaventure took over. And here's the shot coming down the left. Nothing but bar down. And that's a pretty looking goal for St. Bonaventure. Gets that goal back, back up by two. That four and four play was completely dominated by the Bonnies as Chavez is gonna jam at that on the side. And Filippowitz will cover. Yeah, the Rams very sloppy in their own end on that four and four. Too casual while the Bonnies were pedal to the metal. You hear coaches say all the time, you gotta move it north to south and you can't take time out of your own end to do that. You gotta move it up ice, get it just across your own blue line. And you gotta do that quickly. Murray has to play it on the bounce. It's Mego again. Mego cutting to the front and knocked off the puck. Not able to get a shot on goal. It's Marsh at the point, throwing it towards the net. Knocked away by DeCanio. Glove down, rebound loose. DeCanio fighting through that one. And then there's a, there's a DeCanio goes down in front, and that goes into the netting, so... Rams bench wasn't happy about one call, Bonaventure not happy about the other. Some physical stuff going on, but uh, one of the St. Bon uh, Jake Spina was shoved into uh, the Farmingdale netminder, and that's what sent the Rams into frustration, but uh, all everything clean there, at least most of it, so they'll get another ozone drop. That'll be TJ Wall. Going up against Vin Sinamo on the draw. Wall wins it cleanly back to the point. They'll fire it off the rip right into the face of Hendrickson, but he caught it off the cage, thank God, because that could have been really dangerous. Kirschbaum goes down as Guido tries to get that back in deep, but intercepted by Jackson, but a reaching stick by Hendrickson keeps that in deep. That will be a penalty. That's a dangerous hit right there as Filippowitz will glove it. Hendrickson able to get up on, on his own there, but that was a dangerous hit by Jacob Jackson. As the Bonnies will be down a man and a chance here for Farmingdale. Did you get the call on the penalty there? I did, I did, I, it was a knee on knee hit. Kneeing, yep, there you go. Chikowski and Sinamo to the right of the goaltender. Bonnie's got their two goal lead back. It was briefly coughed up when it, with the Hendrickson goal for Farmingdale as this one's just been eaten on the wall by Aiden Jones. But it's Hendrickson. The only good after that knee on knee is Sinamo's getting in tight but he'll peel off. Hendrickson, he'll switch off with Sinamo and give it to Buddington. Farmdale very methodical on this power play, or many of their power plays. Hendrickson finds a man to the point, Murray. Murray's gonna fire one, and he scores! Sanamo with the deflection! A power play goal, and it's back within one. It's three to two. It's those power play chances that you gotta cash in on, and Farming, Farmingdale did right there. Here's the, here's the replay. See the goalies down, gets back up the shot from the point. Top left corner, and it's in. Farmingdale Rams back within one. And Murray thought he got that. He thought it went clean as can be, but then Sanamo with the one knee selly, and I thought it was Ryan Murray's goal, but then I saw Sanamo get down on the knee, and I'm like, I guess it's his. I guess he tipped that one. But now it comes Ferrari with a man down, and this game keeps getting more and more interesting. Farmingdale back within one on the power play goal. It's all about those response shifts, and we've seen good ones from Bonaventure. Brennan with the bank pass to himself. He's got Bunnington going to the net, throws it there, and there's a whistle as Bunnington and Filippowitz take exception to one another. 
Yeah, Filippowicz had his paddle out and then the forward in on the forecheck caught it. So, uh, you know, these guys will try anything to get a man advantage. And and this is, um. so Ryan, we just came off a Georgia USF game on this ring. That was penalty fill, undisciplined, guys were running around. This game is gonna be so tight to the wire, you cannot afford to take any uh, misguided penalty. Exactly, yeah, and we saw last game, uh, both benches get fired up, uh, although the Georgia bench was just having a good time and seeing the whole game. And you gotta stay disciplined, you can't put your team at a disadvantage. Brendan again, stepping up on the play, trying to power through, but James Johnson wins that exchange. As Shane Smith throws his body at the play and does enough to get the puck free, but Bonnie's right back on it, trying to go back to our and they score! Every time Farmingdale tries to crawl back, the Bonnies have an answer. Back up two, it's 4 2. Well, we talked about it, those response shifts, and like you said, every time it seems, Bonnies have a response. So we'll go look at this one, and this one just finds the back of the net via the ice. So the shot gets a deflection in front of the goalie. Uh, DeCano had no chance as it snuck through his pads and got through. Bonnie's back up by two. And a big hit as not throws a man down. No penalty arm up, so clean as could be, apparently. It's a clean hit, yeah, this, this is gonna be a rough and tumble game the rest of the way. Again, like you mentioned, got to stay disciplined, though. You got to hit the, make those checks, make those big plays. This might be icing. Who's going to beat it out? Looks like Fitzpatrick's going to beat him, and he does. But nothing after that. You're going to have those big hits. Mm -hmm. But you can't add that extra slash yep. on the back. You know, those are the undisciplined plays. Kurnitz on the offensive zone draw against Sinamo. To the right of the goaltender, DeCanio. As if you look at the, uh, the Bonaventure bench, they're getting some love from the Monk, right? That's, I believe, that's what that it's called. And there's a penalty on Bonaventure here. And Bonnies will go back shorthanded as the Rams coming off a power play goal, try to get back get within one for the third time this game. It'll be number 26, Mason Mago. He already has a goal this game. Did you see what the penalty was? Um, they're asking what the call was too. I didn't hear it either, yeah. I couldn't catch it. But nonetheless, it's a Farmingdale power play. Again, down two. Trying to go back to Orsonamo. He'll find Bunnington, Byrington fires one, glove down by Filippowicz. That was a sweet save by Filippowicz. Had to find that one through traffic and I think uh, the tripping is, is what the call is gonna be to Mago. Off the stick of Bunnington, so Rams gotta regroup here. 11.08 left in the period. And we've had a, a, a crazy one so far. Two for Farmingdale and two for Bonaventure so they can maintain that two goal cushion. Kirschbaum flies past a man to get into the zone, throws back in front, nobody there but Brown, and out of the zone. Hendrickson will carry through neutral zone, he'll cut wide and go around the net, wait for some more white jerseys to join him as they'll switch off with McCann, trying to get out of each other's way. And McCann will go on the chase. A minute and two on the power play. McCann will walk out, find Shane Smith at the point, throw it on net, bouncing around, and Filippowicz has got it. Filippowicz found it again. And you can see the frustration on the Bonaventure bench when this penalty was taken. One of the coaches had a clipboard with an ice rink diagram on it, and he 
threw it on the ground behind the bench where the player sits. One cleanly by the Rams is McCann on the far side half wall. He's looking at Smith at the point, but he can't go there just yet. And that one is not out of the zone as Smith was able to corral it. It's Hawkins, Hawkins walking in, fire one goes, five ball, and they score! Back and forth we go, another power play goal. This one's Matthew Hawkins. It's a four to three lead for the Bonnies now. And we just keep going tit for tat here. The Rams have responded and responded and so have the Bonnies. Yeah, As here's the replay. Sorry there, Jordan, go ahead. The, the wrist shot and it gets through Filipowicz again. And it's those penalties, we'll keep talking about it, but uh, you know those are no good. Three times this period, it's been a one goal game. Farmer will get to tie it as McCann couldn't get the backhand on it. And now this is where this is where it's gonna make or break the game is the answer here. Every time the Bonnies have lost their two goal cushion, they get it right back and it's all been in this period. Getting around a man, the Bonnies are on goal, kicked her out by Decanio. Fishing around for his shoes, and out come the Rams. It might be a two on one. Hawkins, Cole Kath is trying to join him, and he scores! Matthew Hawkins back to back, and it's a tie game! Bonnies were on the attack on the response shift, and there was a pinch. And a newfound life on the Rams bench. Down 2 0 in the first. The pinch right there at the blue line. It's now 4-4. You see it, and then the shot coming down the left. It solves Filipowicz, and it's 4-4. Tie game. As Kirschbaum and Spina battle for at the dot, at the, at the line, as the puck goes right down towards Filipowicz, and I think they may have found something on him. That's back-to-back five-hole goals. Bouncing on goal, and Flipwitz plays that down to his defender, Mitchell March. And it's kicked up, Bonnie's trying to exit, and they will. It's Jack Kernitz. Kernitz trying to dance around Sanamo, and Sanamo, all five foot, five foot five of them, the center playing defense puts him down. Aaron play behind the net, gotta watch the wraparound jam. Bonnie's trying to get the lead back, no signal yet. And we're not gonna get one as it stays out. Something might be called here. There was a loose puck right at that near post and everybody in a brown uniform was jamming at it. Now I think we're just getting a whistle. I don't think we're getting anything here. Doesn't look like it. Some rough stuff which is what you get whenever your goaltender's being jammed at. Mm -hmm. And Ryan. First period, I'm right next to the Bonnies, we're right next to Farmingdale. First period, the Bonnies were the, woke, the vocal ones. They're moving around, they're up on the bench. Now it's, I'm hearing them to my left now. Bonnie's a little quiet to my right, and Farmingdale's the vocal one. They're slamming the boards. They're yelling every shift. Brennan will play behind his own net with 8.23 left in the second, a very eventful second period. Connor Uhas on the rush. Puck bounces out, Bunnington will glove it down, trying to work his way around a man, but Tchaikovsky's not gonna let him go anywhere. Bonnie's coming to the zone on goal, and DeCanio gets that with the glove. Well, that's a good observation. You hear it even more now after that whistle for the Farmingdale bench. Banging the sticks on the boards, and they are fully engaged into this game after being down for the first half of the game now in the second half. I'm telling you, I'm gonna need like three cough drops in this intermission alone after all the calls that have been scoring. They've all been of equal excitement. Yep. Yeah, this is a winner go home game. The winner of this one takes pool B. Loser, you're going home, season's over. And we have a 4-4 game as Brennan eats it. And to the point now on goal, off a of skate and wide. It was Aiden Jones' point shot that caused some problems in front. Hughes trying to pick up that puck with two white jerseys around him, and he'll steer it around the wall. Brennan on the chasers wall, along with Michael Rappa. Jones now stepping in from the point. He's got the puck, and that's eaten by DeCanio. 
So after the tie game, that's some shoving afterwards from Hawkins and Jones. So the Bonnies, nothing crazy right now, but after pulling the two goal lead three times, not three times, but having the two goal lead, one goal lead, now a tie game at four, pretty good response, keeping the puck in the offensive zone. Yeah, exactly. The past few faceoffs have been offensive zone faceoffs for the Bonnies, and uh, after giving up a two goal lead and now tied with Farmingdale, uh, you want to continue having that pressure. Shots, uh, just a four point differential. Kernitz wins it clean to his winger, and Mego. And Farmingdale finally able to get out McGarry. As it's chipped in deep, and now Spina will go get it. Spina takes a hit, draws a penalty. So the Bonnies will now be up a man. And then Spina goes down on a collision in Chavez. And the refs are not gonna, they're not biting on that one. Oh, I think on Sportsmanlike was just Yeah, called. someone just got on a Sportsmanlike conduct, it's Brisgornia. What's the call here? Game, game misconduct, misconduct for John Brisgornia along with a boarding call. You want to talk about uh, turning the tide now. You just crawl back in the second period alone. We still got 7.09 left, and you take a game misconduct penalty. They're going to be short of defensemen, and not just it, it's a top-line defenseman in Brisgornia, known for his defensive, defensive style, defenseman, defenseman style. Now the Bonnie Vench is getting some life. They're tapping the boards, a little bit more communication. So it looks like the only thing on the board is going to be a two minute power play. Yep, two minute man advantage, but now Farmingdale short of defenseman and John Brisgornia for the game. If there's a goal by the Bonnies, it can go a long way. A kill by the Rams can go a long way. Big turning point in the game right now. A minute 50 on the power play left, and the Bonnie's up, and the Bonnie's now tied up with the Rams 4-4 after an explosive second period. Spina, he's got one already. Goes down low, finds a man. Walking in on goal, he bluffs and goes behind. Stutz finds a man, gonna fire one. Fans on the shot, rebound in front, and DeCanio closes the stick down and gets the whistle. That fan shot was good for the Bonnies because it fooled the goaltender and got all the way into the net. And uh, DeCanio. 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 Gotcha, thank you. yeah. Uh, jumped it, on top and got the whistle. Trust me, I've been calling four games a day. I have botched names left and right. And, so, and that one was not even bad. You had to hear some of mine on the first day. <laughs> so now Stutz, he'll go cross ice and find Mego. And now dropped off and off the bar. He got DeCanio going the wrong way. Spina that close from his second of the game and a Bonnie lead. Yeah, right off the crossbar. Great shot, DeCanio couldn't see it. And, and the special teams, big factor. Two for Farmingdale power play goals, and the first goal of the game was a five on three goal for Brady Fitzpatrick that got the game started. Yeah, and you said it perfectly, this uh, two minute penalty, big turning point of the game. It's Stutz, he'll go cross ice, Spina again. Fans on the one tap touch pass, as now Kirschbaum is gonna be the first man on it. Filippowicz has gotta help out his team down there. Intercepted by Ferrari, Ferrari trying to power through, Ferrari on goal, and he shot it glove side wide. Kirschbaum on the rebound, and it's behind the net. 52 seconds on the man advantage, as Brennan will take his time all the way out of the zone, as he's got a man on him in Kernitz. Smith with a long flip, glove down by Sanamo. He's got one already. Sanamo pushing his way through to the far side corner. He's got three brown jerseys on him and eventually loses it to the massive, uh, massive Bonnies. Rappa, 30 left on the man advantage. He'll circle the world. Near side wall, looking for a man to the point. It's Brady Fitzpatrick. He's already got a power play goal. Fitzpatrick looking to the net. They're clogging up the shooting lane. Back to Fitzpatrick. Back down low, back on goal, out of the rebound, off the end board, and they score! Bonaventure gets the lead right back, it's Michael Rappa, and five to four. 
An unlucky bounce if you're Farmingdale. A lucky bounce if you are Bonaventure. Watch this on the replay. The shot from the far point. Well, dish down low. It goes off a stanchion, sits on the near side, and able to tap it home is St. Bonaventure and get back to a one-goal lead on the power play. Icing waved off. So Murray's got to play it and keep in mind, the Rams are down a guy in Brisgornia from the point, thrown wide off the stick of Marsh. As Hendrickson's gonna fend off two brown jerseys, Sinamo's gonna try to leave for Kirst for Bunnington. And out of the zone it goes, it's Fitzpatrick. And it's weird, that power play was in the offensive zone for a while and then Ferrari and, and Kirschbaum had a lot of good looks on the shorthanded. And then once it came out, puck movement again, great bounce for the Bonnies, and now they're up one again. It's Johnson behind that looking for a man in front, not able to connect, as Murray will just bank it off the wall. That will probably be icing. Icing actually waved off at the last second, so Fitzpatrick got a play behind his own net. Going for the home run pass, connects on the blade of Juhas. Juhas trying to get around Murray. Murray with a quick stick derails that. It's O'Brien taking a spill, but no contact from Guido on that one. Looking for Hendrickson underneath the blade, and Fitzpatrick's got to go retrieve it. Bonaventure has been, has nine goals in the first game, nine goals in the second game, as there's a penalty on Bonaventure coming up as McCann is down. Connor O'Brien will go for the slew foot. As McCann is still down with Cole Catherson Hawkins as he waves off Dr. Jeff Popolarski. Farmingdale, uh, what is, is it? It's back-to-back -back power play goals for Farmingdale in this period alone, now going to their third power play of the game. And yeah, we've talked about it all. Third power play of the period, my bad. Right, we've talked about it all game. Those power plays are of huge importance, and we've seen that this period. Uh, we were tied 4-4, four, 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 and uh, St. Bonaventure with the most recent power play goal. And something to keep in mind, Bonaventure, uh, they like these shootout style, like the back and forth. The first game against uh, ECU, 3 0 Bonnies. They blew the lead 3 3. And then I believe it was 5 4 at one point. And yes, Connor O'Brien will sit for two. And then also in their game, they won an overtime game in the semifinals of the upstate New York playoffs. I believe it was against Niagara. I think it was a 7 6 win. And then in the championship game, they knocked off, I believe, Buff State 6-2. to two. So they like putting the goals on the board, but sometimes they can give them up as much as they give them. I was told Bonnie's beat Cortland. Bonnie's beat Cortland. I have a Buff State guy right here doing the camera, so <laughs> I should have just asked him. It was 7-6 overtime, right? Give me a nod. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Another opportunity for the Rams to even up this score, but it's picked up by Chikowski and all the way down it goes. James Johnson will go on the four check. Hawkins will pick up. A crazy second period and we got 340 left in it. Rams looking to tie it up again on goal for rebound. Ferrari not able to bounce that one towards his direction. Ferrari will switch off with Hawkins. He's one away from the hat trick. Going up to the point. It's Smith. Blocked down by Tchaikovsky. Rebound in front in the low slot. And out it goes. Armandale with a minute left on their man advantage. Aaron passed by Ferrari, so they gotta try to do it again as it bounces all the way to the right of DeCanio. That will be an icing, so Farmingdale all over the place on this man advantage. And now a conference at center ice. 
trying to decipher if this is it's staying at center or going all the way down the Farmingdale zone, and it will be dropped at center. I, I didn't see it. So one of the refs said icing, but then he said, no, I, I didn't think so. So uh, they're going to take the neutral spot, center ice. It'll be Hendrickson with 40 seconds left. He got the goal scoring started for Farmingdale when they were down 2 nothing, And 35 left in the power play. Hendrickson, again, very patiently this Rams team is on the power play. They'll give it to Bunnington. Bunnington to Murray. Sanamo, he has one already on the deflection on the shot from Murray, and that's what Murray will do now as it's tipped wide. Fitzpatrick able to get out of that situation very finessely with finesse as he's trying to eat this on the wall with 10 seconds. Kicked out to the blue line and out of the zone, and that will do it for the Farmingdale power play. Hendrickson battling with Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick wins that exchange viciously, but Hendrickson right back into the fray, and he pushes the puck forward towards Bunnington with a minute and 50 left in the second period. And Bonnie's going back to the kill. Interference, I believe, is going to be called on number 24, TJ Wall. And now Bonnie's are playing a dangerous game right now. We mentioned before in the first period, in these type of games, you cannot afford to be taking one bad penalty or two, just one after another. I mean, every penalty is a bad penalty, but I mean, maybe undisciplined penalty. Oh, exactly right. And, uh, you know, Farmingdale, not the best outing on the last man advantage they have. So here's another one. Perfect opportunity, down one goal. And Tchaikovsky's going to chip it by a man. Could be a two-on-one, but Hawkins gets back in time to break it up. Now Tchaikovsky, again, all over the Rams. And the bad vibes continue to roll in from last power play for Farmingdale. Brennan gets it by a man and enters the zone. Takes it from Tchaikovsky. And Stutz will throw it all the way down into center. And Smith's got to play it with a glove. Now it's Ferrari, across the middle. Ferrari will drop it off. Hawkins looking for this third. Steered away by Filippowitz, but kept in for the time being. Ferrari will pick up the loose puck. Ferrari looking on goal. Rebound kicks out, and Filippowitz. I don't know if Filippowitz got that one or just missed wide, but nonetheless, it's still 5-4 Bonnies with 50 left in the period. Fitzpatrick will turn and fire, get it out of harm's way. So the Rams got to regroup. Right in front of the Farmingdale bench, now it comes out. It'll be Rappa meeting a hit from Shane Smith. And Hawkins will have to grab it. 43 on the power play, 25 in the period. Ferrari finds Cole Akathis. And out come the Rams with now 17 left in the period. Cole Akathis with not many white jerseys with him as that puck will be shot to the blue line. Out of the zone, we're not able to hold it. Hendrickson with five seconds, he's got to move. He's got three fights, Sanamo, bad save, and kicked away as Filippowitz makes the buzzer beater stop to maintain the one goal lead. The Bonnies, back-to-back -back periods, enter the intermission with the lead, but a lot less comfortable in this frame. Of the, before we go to the intermission, Sound of the Game is powered by Game Sheet Incorporated. Ditch the paper and focus on what matters with Game Sheet. Visit GameSheetInc.com for more information. Sound of the Game, second period, Farmingdale. Fourth power play in the middle of, and they got two goals on it. Yes, they did. Yep, and uh, that tied the, the, tied the game 4-4. Yep. St. Bonaventure able to get one more before the period ended uh, also. Uh, on the power play. So again, at the end of two, the Bonnies were walking in their mission up five to four, a lot closer and uh, a lot more uh, similar styles than the first period. But again, alongside Ryan Carlson, my name is Jordan DeLuciano. You're listening to Black Dog Hockey's presentation of the 2022 CHF Federation Cup.
Hello everyone, alongside Ryan Carlson, my name is Jordan DeLuciano, and welcome back to Black Dog Hockey's presentation of the 2022 CHF Federation Cup. Streaming live from Iceline, Quadrants, in West Jensen, Pennsylvania, and we have had an absolute crazy game going into the third period. Farmingdale and Bonaventure, winner wins Pool B, winner goes on to the quarterfinals tomorrow, loser, you're going home, and Bonaventure starting this period on a 16 second penalty kill, but is up in the game five to four. It's been back and forth. Bonnie's had a two nothing lead going to the second and all the momentum in the world until Farmingdale came out flying. But despite the four goal second period outburst, Bonnie's had a response every single time. Yeah, that's pretty much do it for the power play for Farming. Farmingdale, yes, so we're back Dale. five on five. <laughs> yes, far, yeah, there you go. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah. Icing waved off as Kirschbaum's trying to beat a man down low. Hendrickson's going to try to help him out. Kirschbaum trying to get away from the stick of Jackson and meets another man on the wall in Rappa. Murray trying to keep it in and his kicks out. Something to keep in mind, Farmingdale is down defenseman John Brisgorny a game misconduct in the second period for, uh, I guess, abusive official for verbal, alter for verbal altercation. As the stick goes flying, it's Johnson's as he, he was getting abused on the way in. Surprising no call after what happened in the second period. A lot of penalties there. I think it's stuck in Rappas. Nope, Fitzpatrick comes out with it and then goes all the way down. I, I hate the rag on specific people, but DeCanio and Filippowicz, they, they, they've had their moments where they had not looked as sharp in net, and that's why we have nine goals in two periods. Yeah, you're right, and lots of power play opportunities for both teams, and uh, you know what? Fresh sheet of ice, one goal lead for St. Bonaventure. Buckle up, it's going to be a good period. And farming now, this is Joseph DeCanio coming in with 16 games started in the regular season, 2.16 goals against, and a 9.35 save percentage. So he's one of the best goalies neck and neck with McGarry in that Empire Conference for uh, the best goalie. Also, uh, the, For the Fordham goalie, uh, Joey. Uh, I've got his last name. I, I feel bad. I'm forgetting his last name. I called his name a lot the other day. Spootenberg got him. He's a very good goalie in his own right. Nice memory. I mean, you've only called what, like 12 games this, this uh, yeah, weekend? Yeah, I know, right? And that's an icing for Bonaventure. You're sounding good for your fourth and final game of the day uh, today. I don't know how I'm doing. God, God only knows how I'm doing it, right? To get those cough drops at the <laughs> No, I got a water. My cough drops are in my backpack, which I left up here. So I got a water bottle. Got three more days of the tournament to go. Yeah. Gonna need them. My parents will be proud to know I'm drinking water in between periods. <laughs> yeah. It'll be dropped to the right of Filippowicz. Bonnie's win it back as Aiden Jones is being hounded, able to come off the wall, flip at the center, and Shane Smith will play it on the bounce. Bonnie's flying out of the zone with Marsh. Brennan's got to pick it up, not cleanly though, and turns it over to Spina. Back to the point, deflected and kicked away by DeCanio. Cole Cattis will bank it off the glass to Hawkins. Not able to do much there, but now Cole Cattis will get it right back as he's got to wait for a guy to touch up in Hawkins, and now Hawkins has to do the same for Cole Cattis. So three minutes in, a little bit slower pace than the first two periods. First two periods, Bonaventure was flying. Last period, Farmingdale was flying, and then Bonaventure was able to keep pace at times. But now it's kind of just like feeling out. I guess no one wants to get too crazy here. And, and, and O'Brien goes down and draws a penalty. Justin Chavez will sit here. And they, I know Chavez is at least going. I don't know if they're going to get O'Brien. Might see both. St. Bonaventure drew a penalty, but then maybe retaliated and got one of their own. It looks like just Chavez for Farmingdale. I'm watching O'Brien right now, and O'Brien is gonna, nope, he's going to the bench. <laughs> he, he was going to the penalty box, and then the ref's like, no, where are you going? 
Bonaventure with a big chance here early in the second and the third now. Up a goal, trying to get back again. Many times they've gotten that two goal cushion back and then it slips away. Kicks out in the slot. Waiting there to retrieve it is, Sp is Spina, excuse me, now Kernitz. And now Kernitz gets it back on goal and gloved by DeCanio. Drop to the left of DeCanio. Kernitz will draw with Ferrari and back to the point. It's Spina. Cross ice, firing on a goal off a body in front and over the net that hit a, uh, hit a uh, Jacob Jackson in front. Again, and that swept through the legs of DeCanio. Kirschbaum trying to clear, but not out. It's Mago, it's Man Manson Mago. He had one earlier in the game. As it's pinned on the wall and Farmingdale still not able to get out of their own end. 40 seconds in to the power play. Guido doing a good job of eating some clock, but now Spina will get involved down low and Winnot's gonna try to pin him. Spina to the point. It stuts. Wanting the one-timer is Mago across and he shot it wide. As Spina will get it on the near side wall, Spina on goal, knocked down by Lenat, but it's all Bonnies in the offensive zone. Farmingdale needing a clear. Kirschbaum throws it right into the bench, almost took his, head, his coach's head off. Yeah, no kidding. That didn't, that didn't hit glass or anything, right into his own yeah. bench. Forty-nine seconds left in the power play. Bonnie's all all the time spent in the offensive zone. A couple good looks on goal, but nothing coming right now. It's Fitzpatrick. He'll give it down low to Hughes. Hughes on goal, and he scores. The two goal leads back intact. It's Owen Hughes and a 6-4 lead for Bonaventure. Great shot here, top of the near circle, just rips one and it finds its way in. Bonaventure back to a two goal lead for the first time in a little while. Just back and forth we go, and Farmingdale just does not have an answer to repel Bonaventure every time the Rams inch closer. And I, but it sounded like it hit off a stick on the deflection. But nonetheless, it's Owen Hughes and a 6-4 lead for the Bonnies. Kirschbaum will exit, find Sanamo with Fitzpatrick all over him. So he'll steer that around the wall. Henderson takes a hit on the wall, able to power through it. Sanamo coming out with it. He's got to chase it down, leave it for Smith, but underneath the blade. But he's now being hounded by Rappa. Icing waved off on the deflection. It'll be Mitchell Marsh. As Ferrari tries to get the stick in there and Buddington took a penalty behind the play as Marsh is down with no helmet, no glove. I think Buddington's getting kicked out. Matthew Buddington, one of the leading scorers on Farmingdale has been ejected for the game for illegal contact to the head. Still down behind the net. Yeah, I'm trying to make out what number. Yeah, it's Mitchell Marsh, Marsh able to get back to his feet and now up two goals. A five minute power play for the Bonnies and they could score as many times as they want. That five minutes does not end until you get zeros on the power play clock. And the hill just gets higher and higher for Farmingdale. Now self-inflicted wounds. They're down a forward and a defenseman. Bonnie's power play has been effective today. Even if they're not scoring on it, Farmingdale cannot get out of their own end. Yeah. 
Crucial point in the game here. Kernitz on the draw with Ferrari. And one and shot and gloved by DeCanio. You might see Ferrari and Kirschbaum. We've seen them be aggressive before. You could see them be a little bit aggressive. Short-handed. As now to the point. Fanning on it. Ferrari trying to get the puck loose. Stuck's able to keep it in deep. Spina off the skate of Ferrari. And he'll throw it down. Gloved at center ice by Mego. Spina to the point. It's Stutz. Stutz will go cross ice to Mego. Mego looking back to Spina. Spina to Mego. They play catch on goal. Glove to Canyon. Kicks out a rebound. He's sprawling loose. And around the cage they go. It's Kernitz. Spina to Mego. On goal. Looking for a deflection. And it kicked wide. Jackson. Mega. Excuse me, Mego. Jackson again with 4.05 left in this long power play. It's all been in the offensive zone on goals and gloved by DeCanio. Yeah, this is going to take off a lot of time for Farmingdale. That's, this is a crucial five minutes that they're gonna, that's going to go by that they need to get these two goals back. Going to need at least one shorthanded opportunity to get back within this two-goal deficit. To the point, it's Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick looking to go, but he'll dish it off instead to Hughes, and he hit the bar looking for a second power play goal of the period. He looked skyward after ripping that off the crossbar and up into the netting. Great looking shot, just off the iron. Rappo will drop with Sinamo. Sinamo wins it clean. Smith steers it out on the backhand. As Filipowicz has got to leave it for his defender. Fitzpatrick finds Johnson, and the defenseman will walk it in and go get it on the end board. Johnson around the world. He'll kick out off the side of the net. It'll be Aiden Jones bouncing in the air. Hendrickson trying to play it, not able to do so, and gloved down on the hand pass. So far in the Fed Cup, number four, Georgia, gone. Number three, Florida Atlantic, gone. Number one, Tampa, gone. Upset by CNU in overtime. And number two, Farmingdale on the brink. So going into the quarterfinals tomorrow, we potentially might have the top four out. As the Canyon blockers that one away. Three minutes left in the man advantage. As Hawkins, he'll skate out shorthanded. They got to get greedy here down two. Cuts to the middle. Hawkins and a pad stop by Filippowicz. Off the leg of McCann, right to Guido. And he fans on the clearing attempt, but killing, the killing time it does. McCann trying to slap it away from Mago, but he's just going to power his way down. Man goes down, so Spina is able to pick it up. Go cross ice. On goal, goes wide, shoveled away by DeCanio. In front, loose puck. It's Kernitz. He finds a man one timing Spina, double whack at it, and it goes around the wall. McCann will get the clear. Hawkins threw his head up. He thought he had a breakaway there, but McCann was just trying to clear it. It is now two minutes exactly left in the power play. So now Farmingdale has killed off three minutes. Now back to just a normal kill. But it, and now Kirschbaum goes down, draws a penalty. So that will do it for the man advantage. It'll be Jacob Jackson on the trip. It'll be four and four for a minute, 51. And then a brief uh, nine seconds for the Rams on a man advantage. So open hockey now. 
And again, four and four, you keep scoring until the four and four ends. Ferrari pushes it back to Smith. Smith goes cross ice, Brennan. Brennan will walk it in and fire one and swallowed. And then the rebound was still sitting there. So a generous rip whistle for Filippowicz. Looks like Spina's chewing it up with the fans behind the glass. And Spina trying to fly out of the zone. This has been a strategy they've done before as that one goes over the glove. Kirschbaum meets a hit from Fitzpatrick. Spina will pick up, and Bonnie's look to exit. Shane Smith meeting a man at center, so Kirschbaum's gonna pick up the scraps and drop it off for Ferrari. Ferrari trying to get around Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick takes a spill and, gener and generously knocks the puck free. Kirschbaum gets a stick in there, and the team doctor has to move out of the way. He's all right, though. Did he take that puck? Is he all right? Yeah, no, he's fine. He didn't get hit. He moved out of the way. Oh, good. A minute 15 of 4-4, four and 10-40 four, left in the Farmingdale season unless they can get two in the final half of this third period. Hendrickson trying to go back in front, meets the paddle of Filippowicz. Sanamo trying to come out with it. Intercepted by the Bonnies and out they come. It's Owen Hughes who got the most recent goal. Hughes on goal, caught by DeCanio, and he'll whistle it. Farmingdale coaches trying to keep their whole bench engaged. And saying, stay in it, guys, just two goals. And dancing free to Kanyo to go behind him, and they score! It's Manson Mago again, his second of the game, and the Bonnies are up three. It's seven to four. If so, you're a Farmingdale fan or a, a family member, this is not the Joseph Tacano you are used to seeing. And this is very similar to Bonaventure's game against East Carolina in day one, where East Carolina fought back from a three goal deficit and then the Bonnies just ran away with it. It was a tie game and then East Carolina got within one or two and then Bonnies just ran away. Sanamo open, we'll leave it for Smith. Smith will fire one, and he'll go wide. Deflected on goal, dangerous bounce there, but the body's coming out with it. Mitchell Mars might have a breakaway pass, but bouncing over the stick of Rappa. And it's starting to get desperation time. Nine and a half left in the game to the point. It's Marsh to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick towards the net, and it's bounced wide. Power play for five seconds for the Rams, and now we are back to even strength. So the Rams survived a five minute major, but then the four minute, the, the four and four is what did them in, and now they got a three goal hold to overcome. And now three on two for Bonnies. Marsh trying to chip it through, not able to connect as the puck kicks out to the blue line and skips wide. Smith around the wall to Hawkins. Cola Cactus trying to fly, and that would be an icing. Someone chatting to you over there? Yeah, I don't know what the what was that about. <laughs> Any idea what they said or no? No idea, they were just pointing at the scoreboard. I have no idea. Oh, I'm All right. sure they saw the clock stopped or something. No, no, I have no idea. I think they're just showing me that they're up 7-4. I'm well oh, aware yeah. they're up 
Bonnie's trying to look for their eight. As it kicks wide, it's McCann off the glass and does not catch the netting as the Bonnies will pick it up. As Guido will scoop it, throw it right back to where it came from. And wrapped around the wall, it'll be Owen Hughes. It'll be picked up by Rappa. Not able to do much with that as Guido will be behind his own net. And Hawkins find Cole Kathis, and he'll find McCann. McCann hits a stick into the netting and out of play. Eight minutes exactly left in the game, seven to four for the Bonnies. Well, what have we talked about? What's been the difference in this game? It's been the power plays. Yep. And the man advantage. The special teams. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. That's been the difference maker. And Decent goaltending on either side. Lots of shots in this game. Swarmdale really running out of time now. 7.50 left. Throwing off the back of the net. Trying to find a man in front. And now it's Ferrari on the far side wall. Ferrari trying to dance around a man and does. Trying to peel in front. Sticked away by Filippowitz. And that'll be John Keyes. He'll loop it out of the zone and Bonnie's will take that all day. It's Ryan Murray behind his own net, waiting for a passing lane. Guido, back to Murray, and he tries to go back to Guido, but no one home. Jacob Jackson has play starting to slow down just a bit. And just picked up on the far side, thrown on goal. Pitch stopped by DeCanio. And Guido will flip it out for Kirschbaum, but a skate interrupts by Mitchell Marsh. Farmino not moving with much urgency now. They're just throwing the puck into space and hoping for a completed pass as Sanamo's gonna walk down the wall and take a spill. Icing waved off, Kirschbaum battling with Fitzpatrick, and now Sanamo's down, he drew a penalty. Yeah, that was behind the play cross check coming up. So it will be 61 Connor O'Brien for cross checking. And the Rams will go up a man with 627 left in the in the game. Down three goals. There's plenty of time left. You get the goal on the man advantage here. You get the momentum for the rest of the game. On the draw, Kirschbaum gets it back to Hawkins. He'll find Murray. Murray looking on goal, padded it away, rebound loose, and Filippowitz will gobble it up. Sonamo tries to push the Kirschbaum. Hendrickson down to help out. As now comes to Murray. Murray will walk the blue line, find Hawkins down low, fires one, pass up, Sanamo rebound, and Filippowitz will sit on it. Filippowitz holding it down back there, not giving them much life. A minute 42 on the power play, and if Thermondale can't convert here, they're really digging a deeper hole. Ref takes a spill, but he looks all right. Hawkins go to Kirschbaum. Kirschbaum trying to power through and drop it down now to Sanamo. Drops off Hawkins. Under a minute and a half on the power play. Finds Sanamo, who'll fire one and stopped by Filippowitz. Good looking shot there from Sanamo and nice and up high on Filippowitz, but he makes the save. Filippowitz has been just solid tonight for St. Bonaventure. Kirschbaum trying to strip a man in Stutz. 
Puck comes out to the blue line, but kept in by Murray. Murray will walk the line. Find Hawkins on goal. Kicks a rebound, curse bomb, and Filippowicz again. The star of the penalty kill right now. And hearing it from the crowd too. And his own bench. Tchaikovsky wins that one cleanly, and they'll go all the way out and into Farmingdale ice. An update from the other game, Quinnipiac up four to one with nine minutes left. A four goal win for Quinnipiac would put them into the next round. Forty seconds left on the power play as Shane Smith will come out for, for the Rams. Hits a skate and Shakowski gets that one down. Oh, and McCann walks right and gets a huge hit, able to get right back up as he went right into that cushion. Good thing it's there as Smith will stop it with 18 seconds left, looking for a deflection off the end board, and Ferrari will go try to retrieve it. To the point, Hawkins back to Ferrari. Un under 10 left, he'll go cross ice Shane Smith. Smith on goal, kicked around rebound, and that might do it for the power play, but the puck's still in the offensive zone. Smith walks past the man on goal, and blocked away by Filippowicz. Head coach Taylor Rosenberg getting up close and personal on the bench right now, shouting orders. I don't know if he was giving props to his goaltender or just giving commands in the defensive zone. Smith walking down the wall, meets Brady Fitzpatrick. He's been all over the ice tonight. As Brennan throws a body, but this is gonna be the body strategy. Just get it in deep, one guy on the puck, and absorb that breakout. Around the wall, once again, Brady Fitzpatrick picking it up. Under four minutes left in the game. As Smith takes a, throws a man down at center. And now it's Ferrari in his own zone. To McCann, he'll drop off Ferrari, and out he comes. Ferrari walking in, trying to drag, meets a stick. Good play there by Mitchell March, but Br Brady turns it over, picked up by Marsh, the defender, and Hendrickson and Ferrari not letting them clear. Ferrari looking towards the net, a sliding block, kicked out in Ferrari in front, rebound still loose. Filippowicz got the rebound, high stick called as Hendrickson's gonna turn and fire, and we're still going. All the way down, icing arm up, and icing waved off with three minutes left in this game. Bonnie's still up 3-7-4. Kirschbaum looking for Sanamo, instead finds Guido on goal, sticked away by Filippowicz. Sanamo, it's Hendrickson trying to find Sanamo. Going cross ice, Brennan. Brennan get a dragon, fire one, and it just missed blocker wide. Bonnie's intercepted, it's Tchaikovsky. Hounded by Kirschbaum, he'll steer it in deep. Icing is waved off. And Filippowicz has really, really locked it down here in the third period. Farmingdale's been throwing a lot at him, but Nicholas Filippowicz is keeping them at bay. Farmingdale needs three with 2.15 left. Kirschbaum, down low McCann. McCann looking to the point. Finds Lenat with an empty net now. It's six on five. Bonnie's with the empty net. They'll backhand it to center ice. Farmingdale, two minute warning, they need three. They're on the brink of elimination. Bonnie's a minute 55 away from moving on to the quarterfinals and eliminating Farmingdale. Ferrari, top of the circle, shot wide. Murray not able to keep it. Sonamo's gotta go chase, but he's got James Johnson on him. Lenat will shovel it back up. Hawkins will knock it down. Up in the air, glove down by Murray, battle at the blue line, and the bodies are trying to come out with it. 
And in comes Cole Cactus. He's trying to get around a man in Jones. Jones shields him off, looking at the yawning cages wrapper, but gloved down by Ferrari with a minute and 15 left. Kirschbaum trying to push through. Kirschbaum and a stop by Filippowicz. Filippowicz just feeding off of every save he's making this late in the game and feeding off the energy from his home fans, uh, the Bonaventure fans over on that side of the rink. And uh, you can tell he's just feeling it right now in nets, not letting anything through. Filippowicz has been a wall as Hendrickson fires and there's the commentator's curse. As I say it, Hendrickson gets a goal and they're back within two at 7-5. So Farmingdale, not, I, I, I do this, I've been doing this all weekend. A minute and seven left, this game got a little bit more interesting. Bonnie's up 7-5. Henderson trying to push through. He's got two this game. He'll drop it off for Kirschbaum. Bouncing off Lenat. He'll play it. Empty net to Cano to the bench. Kirschbaum walks out, finds Murray. Murray to Lenat. Ferrari, the extra attacker. Kicked wide behind the net. Hendrickson battling with Fitzpatrick. Kirschbaum to the point, Lenat. Lenat will throw it back door. Sanamo on goal. Trickling and sprawling and getting the whistle is Filippowicz. And the Bonnies will call a timeout. 40.7 left in this game. Bonnies up two. As a let's go Bonnies chant breaks out. We got a couple teams watching right now. And we are 40.7 seconds away from the top four teams all being eliminated. Who would have thought that, huh? Tampa, gone. Farmingdale, 40 seconds away from being gone. Georgia, out. Atlantic, out. Couldn't tell what they were uh, chanting there. but Yeah, I don't know what they're saying. It's CHF Fed Cup March Madness. The, the top four are wiped away before the quarterfinals on Monday tomorrow. Hey, what a way to kick off the 2022 Fed Cup. Bonnies, the upstate conference champions, looking to knock out the number two seeded Farmingdale State Rams winners of the Empire Conference. Chasing after the puck. Bonnie's trying to pick it up with an empty net. This might be the dagger, and will not get the stick in the way. TJ Wall that close from putting the game on ice, but now they're two goal lead with 25 seconds left. They gotta move. Ferrari trying to give and go with Hendrickson. Gives it to Sanamo with 20. Hendrickson, they gotta get one right now if they have any chance. 15 seconds left, running out of time, and it looks like the Bonnies. And we're gonna get a little bit of a wait on the final buzzer. St. Bonaventure. Eight seconds away from knocking off the number two seeded Farmingdale State Rams and punching their tickets into the quarterfinals. Barring a miracle, Farmingdale season will live on, but five seconds left and St. Bonaventure has eliminated Farmingdale, winning it 7-5 and they're going to the quarterfinals. It is Upset City on day three in the Fed Cup. Florida Atlantic, early in the day, taken down by Georgia Tech. CNU knocks out Tampa in overtime, and we conclude the day with St. Bonaventure eliminating Farmingdale. Well, we knew it was gonna be a good one, didn't we? And it was a good one all the way to the end. Penalties, the Achilles heel of Farmingdale. So the pool winners, pool A goes to this Christopher Newport captains. Pool B goes to the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. C goes to 
Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Pool D goes to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Pool E goes to Babson. Pool F to Ramapo. Pool G still up in the air. We don't know what's going on in that Binghamton Fairfield game. And same thing with Pool H. Last time I checked, the Gamecocks were down 4-1 to one to Quinnipiac. And we take this moment for the stars of the game presented by Verbero Hockey, official equipment partner of the CHF. Farmingdale star of the game goes to Greg Hendrickson. And for St. Bonaventure, it will go to the defenseman Brady Fitzpatrick. But that will do it. On the last day of pool play, St. Bonaventure is moving on. Alongside Ryan Carlson, I'm Jordan DeLuciano. We will see you all tomorrow.